Tonight we are hearing for the first time from two astronauts who've been stuck in space for months. That does include Tennessee native Butch Wilmore. NASA leaders say those two will likely be stuck on the International Space Station about eight months longer than expected. That's after the Boeing Starliner suffered mechanical failures back in June. The astronauts say they're well and Wilmore even has a special request for ESPN. 10 News reporter Avery Gingrich tells us more. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. Boeing's Starliner spaceship safely returned to Earth last Saturday without astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They discovered mechanical failures on the Starliner during their flight in June. Now, NASA plans to keep them in space. Wilmore says years of training have prepared him for this. So we march forward, carry out the plan of the day, as we used to say back in my AOCS days and, 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 and shortly thereafter. Um, aviation Officer Candidate School, by the way, that's what that means. NASA expects to bring the astronauts home on a SpaceX Dragon spaceship next February. Williams says the mission is their focus. She also says living in space provides time to reflect. One of the things I like to do up here is sort of write like a little recap of the week and send it down to people so they can see what fun we're having and what, you know, what kind of work we're doing up here because it is so much different than being on Earth. Wilmore and Williams are both experienced space travelers. According to NASA, Wilmore spent about six months worth of time in space over two previous trips. Williams has spent almost a year in space between her two previous trips. Wilmore says he's comfortable and focused. He says he even has time for a hobby. I can tell you if you're looking for a guest picker for college game day, give me a call. <laughs> also, <laughs> I've been asked several times, yes, I do have the SEC network. <laughs> And that was Avery Gingrich reporting, and he was sitting in on that press conference this afternoon, asked a question, and Wilmore said he was happy to hear from folks in God's country.